Ladies and gentlemen, on the 12th of December at 1 o'clock in the morning, I can officially claim Peter Griffin in Fortnite. I downloaded this season just for this operator or this skin pack. Peter Griffin from Fortnite. That's who I wanted for the longest time as one of my brand new characters in Fortnite. Obviously, the Lego event happened, which is great too. And obviously, at the moment, in this current lobby, we can't view Peter. Because obviously, there isn't a Lego version of him just yet. But, if we select the normal Battle Royale Fortnite, and we change our skin, go to our most recent, there he is. Peter Griffin. It's the strong version of him that we saw in one of the Family Guy episodes. I wish they had normal classic chubby Peter. I love him. He's one of my favourite animated characters. But just look at their face. <laughs> Peter, Peter has been a massive part of my childhood. Family Guy itself has been a massive part of my upbringing. Absolutely love that show. The fact that he's in Fortnite is the reason I downloaded it. Coincidentally, around the same time, they did the Lego update too. I'm buzzing. I'm over the moon. He's also got different styles. You can get like a golden suit for Peter. You can get like a fancy Peter with the top hat. You can get like a fancy outfit without the hat. James Bond looking Peter. But we're going to stick with the classic. Nothing beats the classic Peter Griffin. But I've unlocked him. And what a good way to start. Day number 12. Peace. As we take a swoop across our Christmas winter scene that we have going on here. Past the prime bottles and over to the YouTube logo. I'd like to tell you that it is officially the 12th of December. So let's see what we've got in our daily calendar. A spoon! A spoon? What is a spoon? Why have we got loads of spoons? This is the most. This is the most random thing. But I'm sure it will have context. So let us try and figure this one out, like Sherlock Holmes. Right, happy 12th of December. I am your little spoon. So here are four little spoons to add to your teaspoons. Plus, you love cups of tea. Thank you for all the cups of coffee you make me with your teaspoons. I love you. <laughs> oh, that is true. I mean, I am from my stature alone. The big spoon. Like a glove. That was a probably a very tired and exhausted impression of Jim Carrey. But when he when he parks his car in a, a liar liar, I think it's the name of the movie. He does a perfect park, and he goes like a glove, and it slides into the parking bay. Probably a very niche reference. At Ten thirty in the morning. People looking at me because I'm freakishly talking into my phone camera. As I enter the platform, that's where you can tap in and out. And East Didsbury via, oh, nine minutes. <laughs> Grab a ticket. Pro tip, if you're traveling via the tram, always travel after 10 o'clock if you can help it, because it means you can pay £9.40 for a whole day ticket. So I've got, here's my ticket. It's called an, a one day off peak travel card. And uh, because I finish at 8pm tonight, it's valid. 10.36. Nine minutes till we get to the tram. So by 10.40 something, I should be on the first tram of, of two trams. We do a round trip. So I don't have to come via Milnro. I guess I could drive to shore and go from there some days. And I sometimes do that. But yeah, we got a, we got a map here. Basically, where this pink line is, that's where I am. I'll zoom in for you. That's where I start my journey. I go all the way along this pink line until we get to this yellow line. It gets a bit scruggly around there, but from there, we end up going all the way to the Trafford Center. So, literally from one end of the map, all the way to the other. So it's a 40 mile trip, um, 40 mile round trip. 20 miles there, 20 miles back. 
um, and it happens at all frequent times and at infrequent times. Sometimes it's convenient, sometimes it's hell of hell of a lot. Um, sometimes trees decide to fall on the tram tracks and you have to get Ubers and sometimes trams just give up and stop going and then you have to get Ubers and then sometimes uh, you try and get a lift off somebody and go via the car um, obviously you've seen me in the Tommobile now passed my driving test, legal driver but um, I'm I'm getting the appropriate setup to do travel vlogs in the car uh, but more importantly I've never been on the motorway so that's something I need to probably get into moving into the new year. Well, this jumbo jet lands on the tarmac. There we go. Um, but basically, yeah, I need to get on the motorway, but sometimes even the motorway can be just as bad. Depends what time you're traveling. Everything can change. When you've got a job that you go to five days a week, sometimes six days a week, um, you, you can run into all sorts of travel implications, such as tram saying nine minutes and it's been on nine minutes now for two minutes so clearly there's been a delay and they don't want to tell you because you'll panic so there we go that's nice but yeah it's stressful it's very stressful and um you you've got to love your job you've got to love your job because if you don't love your job you wouldn't go put up with all the stress and all the bullshittery that goes along with it so it's important to i'm going to try and get some life lessons across to some viewers because we've got viewers of all different ages here on the channel and I'm no great philosopher uh, but I can probably tell you some advice that might help you out which may be obviously try and do a job you love even if it means you get paid slightly less try and do things that you enjoy because it'll make time fly a lot quicker and uh, stress doesn't help always have plans and always have backup plans because you never know when you might need them My mind's bugging out. <laughs> That's good. Nurse, no, seen your tom puts the pallet into the pallet, and then you have to crank it. <laughs> <laughs> 